Okay, so I've got eight pieces of chain cut, and you can see I did the uh, kind of gunmetal color on one side and the gold on the other, so you can see it easier. And I've got it uh, hooked on a little pin. I told you I don't do anything orthodox most of the time. <laughs> I'm sorry. But anyway, uh, a little pin seems to hold everything exactly where it needs to be. And I'm going down right here the end. And if you can see real close, I only have two links I have to take off. Yay. And it's the, you know, this one right here. And that one right there. Those are the only two that have to come off. So I'm real excited. I can just clip those off. And then they'll all be exactly the same length. Then what I'm going to do next is I'm uh, dividing them out. Four chains for each side. Two gold and two gunmetal for each side. And then I am going to take a jump ring and hook four chains on one jump ring. And I'm getting ready to do that and I will show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've got the four chains all divided up. I have got four of them on a jump ring. I opened up the jump ring right there, you can see it, and I hook them on. And then the next thing, let me back up so it goes into focus. I am going to connect it to this jump ring right here, this big one. And then I will do the same thing on this end. I will connect a jump ring on this end right here. And then that will be connected to my clasp, which I haven't picked out yet. So be back in a moment. Well, guys, it has morphed again. <laughs> You know, some pieces when you work on them and you're just going and all of a sudden you just go, I just don't think so. So I took the chains I cut off and decided to go with just a single strand of silver. And, you know, it brings out the Amazonite stone much more. And it kept it from being too dark because uh, once I started looking at both sets of chains on, on both sides, it became too dark. And I was really wanting to focus on the Amazonite that it would be the focal point. And so that's why I changed it. But, you know, it it's just interesting. This has been an interesting piece to work with. It has morphed three or four times since I've been working on it. Um, I decided to go with just a basic silver clasp, something very simple and easy. Um, because again, the focal point needs to be down here because this stone is so beautiful. And when you put it on, these little tiny pieces of rhinestone, amethyst rhinestone, give it just a little edge of sparkle in the light. I tried it on a minute ago, and it's just enough to catch your eye, and you go, oh, there's, there was a little sliver of light there. So anyway, but you know, I'm sure when the title comes to me for this one, it will be fitting for the journey that it has had. <laughs> But, you know, it's like the Creator does with us. Anytime the Creator starts working with us, we change and we morph into something that's even greater than what we were. And that's the whole journey of life is constantly becoming something greater than what you were. And that's how the Creator works. So I... I'm going to pray about what this should be titled. And um, I'll get it in the store as soon as possible with some beautiful pictures. You guys have a great evening. I am getting ready to go eat my dinner and spend some time with my hubby and my kitties. And uh, I'll see you back on Monday. <laughs>